Hello, how to solve for x from this given nice math problem x minus 6 to the power of 4 plus x minus 8 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. Solution. Here we have x minus 6 to the power of 4 plus x minus 8 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. This is x minus 6 to the power of 4 plus x minus 8 to the power of 4 can be written as x minus 6 minus 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. Let s minus 6 is equal to y. Then this is y raised to the power 4 plus y minus 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. y raised to the power 4 plus this can be written as y minus 2 square square is equal to 16. Now let's express this y raised to power 4 plus the whole of this can be written as y square minus 4y plus 4 square is equal to 16. Take note of this that if you have a plus b plus c all square this is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac. Then this can be written as y raised to power 4 plus a square. We have y square square plus this is b we have minus 4 y square plus c square that is 4 square plus 2 multiplied by a y square multiplied by b minus 4y plus 2 multiplied by b is what? minus 4y multiplied by c is 4 plus 2 multiplied by a is what? y square multiplied by c is what? 4 is equal to 16. Then this is y raised to the power 4 plus multiply to y square square. That is y raised to the power 4. Then this is minus 4y square. That is plus 16 y square then we have plus 4 squared, that is 16, plus 2 times y squared times minus 4y, that is minus 8 y raised to power 3, plus 2 times minus 4y, that is minus 8y, multiplied by this 4, plus 2y times 4, that is 8 times y, that is 8y square is equal to 16. Then the whole of this can be written as we have y raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 plus 16y square plus 16 minus 
8 wiring to power 3 minus 8 times 4, that is 32 y plus 8y square is equal to 16. Then this is y raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4. 2y raised to power 4 minus this 8y raised to power 3. Then plus 16y square plus 8y square. That is 24y square plus 24y square minus 32y is equal to 16 minus 16. Then this is 2y raised to power 4 minus 8y raised to power 3 plus 24y square minus 32y is equal to 0. Then from here 2y is common. Let's bring it out. We have 2y bracket this divided by this we have y raised to power 3 minus this by this we have 4y square then this by this we have plus 12y this by this minus 16 is equal to 0 now from here there are two cases here the first case is 2y is equal to 0 or the second case y raised to power 3 minus 4y square plus 12y minus 16 is equal to 0. But we know that, let's divide both sides by 2 here. This divided by 2, divided by 2, this we cancel this, y is equal to 0. But x minus 6 is equal to y, then x minus 6 is equal to 0, then x is equal to 6. Let's call this s1. This is the first value of x. Now from the second case here, we have y raised to power 3 minus 4y square plus 12y minus 16 is equal to 0. Now from here, if you check when y is equal to 1, it can be equal to 0. Let's check when y is equal to 2. When y is equal to 2, this is 2 raised to power 3 minus 4 bracket 2 square plus 12 bracket 2 minus 16 must be equal to 0. Now let's see. This is... 2 raised to the power 3, h minus 2 squared, that is 4, times 4, 16, plus 12 times 2, 24, minus 16, must be equal to 0. This is 8, plus 24, that is 32, 16, minus 16, minus 16, minus 32, this is equal to 0. Therefore, y minus 2 is the factor Good. now let's divide this cubic equation by this you see long division method we have this y raised to power 3 minus 4y square plus 12y minus 16 then here is y minus 2 y in this we have y square y times y square times y that is y raised to power 3 y square times minus 2 that is minus 2 y square if you multiply by negative this we cancel this minus 4 y square plus 2 y square that is minus 2 y square then plus 12 y minus 16 now y in this we have minus 2y minus 2y times y that is minus 2y square minus 2y times minus 2 that is plus 4y so if you multiply by negative this we cancel this we have 
12y minus 4y, that is 8y, then minus 16. Then here y in this we have plus 8, h times y, that is 8y, h times minus 2, that is minus 16. If you multiply by negative 1, so here will be 0 and 0. So this is going to be our quadratic equation. Therefore, we have y minus 2 bracket y square minus 2y plus 8 is equal to 0. We have two cases here also. The first case, y minus 2 equal to 0. Then we know that y is equal to 2. But s minus 6 is equal to y then s minus 6 is equal to 2 now s is equal to 2 plus 6 s is equal to 8 let's call this s2 and from the second case here y square minus 2 y plus 8 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula we have y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 this is our quadratic general formula from this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 2 c is equal to 8 let's substitute y is equal to minus bracket minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 square minus 4 multiply by 1 multiply by 8 over 2 multiply by 1 now y is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 square that is 4 minus 32 over 2 then y is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of then minus 28 can be expressed as 7 multiplied by 4 multiplied by minus 1 over 2 then this is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 7i over 2. Therefore, y is equal to this. We cancel this and this. We have 1 plus or minus root 7i. But we know that but x minus 6 is equal to y. Then x minus c is equal to 1 plus or minus root 7i therefore s is equal to 7 plus root 7i or S is equal to 7 minus root 7i. This is S3 and this is S4. So our final answers are X1 is equal to 6, S2 is equal to 8, S3 is equal to 7 plus root 7i and s4 is equal to 7 minus root 7i if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you bye bye